Dang. Okay. <laughs> this is like a contour color all over my face. Bless the name of Jesus. I feel like I just did blackface and I'm black. Like, oh, I'm feeling a little bit concerned right now. What up, it's your girl, Mena. In this video, we are gonna be doing a review of a new foundation. Although by the time you watch the video, I'm not sure if it's gonna be that new. <laughs> it's new to me because I've never used it. I was walking around Target the other day, which I had no business doing, and I stumbled upon this tinted moisturizer from Maybelline Fit Me. This is the darkest color they had. I hope that this is going to match me, okay, 375. We gonna find out, are we not? So if you are looking forward to seeing how this color and this foundation looks on me, then let's keep on watching the video. Now, make sure you are subscribed. It's very important that you do that. Give the video a thumbs up either now or at the end of it when you've watched it all the way through. Join my text community because it's free and it's a great way for you to text me one-on-one -on -one because why not? And that's it. Now, if you're wondering what's on my eyes, I'm starting to take luxury more seriously. And luxury really is just things that you don't need to survive but are just great additions to your life and these eye patches are a great addition to my life hello yes hi this is wander beauty baggage claim gold eye masks hello these were very very saturated with product but <laughs> i've had it on for quite some time right now it's been like 20 minutes okay so let's go ahead and take this off Ooh, this feels good hi love this top i bought this a minute ago from forever Tw no i haven't been to forever in a long time i don't go to the mall do you go to the mall comment let me know this is actually from Fashion Nova, excuse me, but I'm feeling the red holiday season. Ow, eh, 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 eh. We're getting distracted. Now, let me prep my lips with my lip primer. You know I like to use the MAC Prep and Prime Lip. A lip primer is so important because it keeps the lips hydrated beneath your lip product and it helps the lip product to adhere. I've been watching videos and some people be putting on just like chapstick or gloss. I don't know what they be doing. I'm not used to that. From working at MAC, I'm just used to priming the face, priming the lip, priming the eyes. I'm, I'm just used to that. So I have to do that. I absolutely have to do that. Even when I'm wearing a gloss, I have to prime my lip. It's just a, it's just a thing, okay? I've got my little travel size container of this Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner fills a fifth of the way with some product so I can clean my brushes as I go along. I got my damp makeup sponge. Watch my video on makeup sponges to see what I mean by getting it damp and the issues you can face if you don't make sure that it is actually damp. Just watch the video you will understand then, okay? Now I'm gonna prime my face with this all Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Long Lasting Setting Spray. I'm trying to switch out what I got over here to work through my stash and not always use the same stuff. So shaking this up, I'm gonna spray it and let me get my fan to dry it down a little bit, okay? Now these spots, this is the actual product. I forget the name, but it's the product that makes the face mattify. Just use your finger and dab it, okay? If that happens when you spray this, like at the end as your setting spray, same thing, or use your sponge or your powder brush, whatever you feel comfortable with, okay? Great, now let's go ahead. So this is supposed to give us a natural look, fresh feel, buildable coverage, 12, Oh my God. I just saw something I don't wanna see. 12 hour hydration. <laughs> okay, you know what? This might come in handy for the fall. Cause in the fall, when the weather's a lot cooler, my face can feel a lot drier. That's for anybody. That goes for our skin as well. Like our, our all over body skin, scalp to toes. So you do wanna use a more hydrating body moisturizer, you know, soaps and that kind of thing. So this will be okay. I, I just, I run when I hear hydration cause it's, it's entirely not what I want for my face, but we are winding down to the fall. This could work for me. All right, back of the hand because that's just what I like to do. The color, oh, I took a lot, oh my God. Wait, I took a lot, what am I doing? The color is looking dark in a good way. Let's try this out. You know, I like my foundation to be a little dork. This is the Morphe E63 brush. Okay. We got a great color match. This is nice and cool. This is looking like way i'm liking this right now now you know i love me some maybelline super stick i took entirely too much seeing how much coverage this is giving me this is dark i know just hold your horses don't worry it's gonna be all right every little thing hey it's gonna be all right since this is my tube i'm squeezing and then sucking back the extra back into the tube because I took way too much. This is giving me way more coverage than I expected. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know, I should continue. I know, I just got really excited, okay. This is dark though, like this is mad dork. 
so she ain't gonna be able to follow me into the winter too, 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 too deep. <laughs> you know, she can follow me maybe until like October. But when my skin starts to lighten back up again from not being in the, in the high heat sun so much, this is gonna be real dork. But wow, I like this color. This is real dork. Dang, okay. <laughs> Yeah, as I'm putting it on a whole face, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let me let me just chill. Let me just chill. You know how I am. You know how I am. Let me chill, cause I am going highlight. And once I highlight, some of these highlights be looking mad light, and it just lightens the whole face. Wowzers! Oh man, next time that I'm in Target, I'm going to pick up the color right before this. In the tube, I surely was like, oh yeah, that's my color, baby. Oh, I, I still have a lot behind my hand. You don't need much. Don't on Maybelline. What are we talking about today? I am thrown off because look at that dew. Look at the dew. The dew is dew, baby. Forget about how my eyelids are mad light. The dew is dew wing. Do we see this? This is like a contour color all over my face. Bless the name of Jesus. You know what? Nay, I believe, could wear this and it, it might match her entirely. I'm feeling a little bit concerned right now. I feel like I just did blackface and I'm black. Like, oh, oh my God. Okay, so aside from... <laughs> I have to hang on to this. What is expiration date? 12 months. I'm gonna hang on to this till next year and use this in the summertime because right now my face is not that dark. I still have so much on back my hand. Oh well, it'll just have to go in the trash. I took out entirely too much. It is definitely medium coverage because I'm seeing some of my skin. I'm seeing lighter skin right under here and here a little bit. It's not a bad thing. It's just definitely a medium coverage foundation. Okay, so I hate that I didn't get more than one color, but we gonna make this do what it's about to do because I need it to do it. I literally have have things to do today. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to make a foundation work that is too dark for you. Okay, this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in a color. Mind you, I'm doing my very basic makeup look today, not an eyeshadow type look. This is about the, the tinted moisturizer. But let me just show you how I hopefully am going to get this to lighten up. I'm gonna apply this to my God almighty. Okay, now, if you've seen my concealer video, then you are familiar with the idea that when you change your foundation color, I, this, this video is like kind of going all over, but it's gonna make sense. When you change your foundation color, for instance, this foundation is extremely dark. <laughs> so when you use your same old concealer, it's going to look extremely light because your foundation color has gone dark. Get what I'm saying? So it might require that you use, like I could have used a different concealer than this, but I don't have many because I decluttered, but that's neither here nor there. So I want you to just know that when you change the color of your foundation, you do need to change the color of your concealer, but we are gonna just go with it right now. We are going to learn how, I'm gonna show you how to just make things work, okay? Blending this out to the outer part of my face, making sure that I'm going in a very upward motion to lift up the face. When I'm going to the outer part of my face, I'm not taking this to my hairline because I'm gonna contour a little bit, I think, maybe. And there's just no need to bring this all the way over there. A little bit down my cheek for sure. And make sure you, again, watch my video on the makeup sponges. It's very important that your sponge is the way it need to be and nothing more and nothing less, okay? Let me get a mirror to come closer here. Pinching this sponge so that I can get right in my inner eye area, going up on the side of my nose because I do want to reverse contour, which basically, I just wanna highlight the side of my nose. It's gonna isolate the nose a little bit and just help it look nice and snatched. You'll see once we get to that part. Now, the great thing is that as you're blending and working this in, take your time, you can't be in a rush, it is starting to melt into the face and not look too wild. Do you see the face is getting a little bit lighter now onto this side now you saw that i started on the outer part of my eye and left the inner part of the eye and that is because i want a lot of coverage on the inner part of the eye i want it to be really light toward the side of my nose. I want the highlight to be light. And then going over to blend, what is it? Harsh lines. We don't want any lines of demarcation. Come on, say it with me. No lines of demarcation, okay? Oh. Right, my, my, I might not even contour. I might, yeah, I'm not gonna contour today. I'm just, I'm just gonna bronze it because the way it's looking right now is 
real, real left, okay? Okay, middle of the forehead. Yeah, this color is so deep that I'm going to contour. And that's another way to just make this work because, excuse me, I mean bronze. This color is so deep that I'm going to bronze. The bronzer will bring the warmth into the face, which will work nicely with my red shirt and my red lip that I'm gonna do. No need to contour because baby, this is already dark. And speaking of, since I'm not going to contour, I don't do this, but let me take my foundation into my hairline because like I said, I'm, I'm not going to contour. I'm just going to bronze. So just a little bit. This don't need to be caked up into the hairline. Just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Take your sponge again, Link. I'll link all this stuff that I'm using below, including these makeup sponges. And blending the chin. You can skip this if you want, but this is so important since my foundation, our tinted moisturizer is so dark. I need to bring some dimension to the face. See how already it looks like I contoured, but all I did was highlight. And I'm gonna just leave it like that because normally I would contour the nose, but no need to do that because the foundation is again, too dark, but we are what? Making it work, okay? So there is all of that. All right, now we gonna set the face. I'm gonna just let you watch me do the rest because it's the same old, same old. And we gonna regroup once my face is fully done, okay? Let's go. So when it comes to setting my under eye, right? Because my face is so neutral given the foundation is dark and it's neutral, right? What I am gonna do is bring back some warmth to the face by using a setting powder that is gonna be warm, like golden sort of kind of like this, right? Instead of using something translucent, I actually want there to be a warmer color in my highlighted areas. That's how you balance it out. In addition to the bronzer, bringing some warmth to the face as well. And now I'm gonna use the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the color Deep. It looks lighter on camera than it is in person. Okay, and putting this, I'm really seeing this today more than I did before. Hold on, wow, it's looking. <laughs> It's looking very pronounced today. Do you see that? <laughs> okay. Oh, it is really pretty. All right. Putting that everywhere around my face where I normally would put a contour, right? Because today we are bronzing. Fan. Tassimo. But you can still see the contour, can't you? Like, I still feel like I have contoured my face. Wowzers. All right. Now, I still need to apply my face powder, which I am going to do a video on my go to face powders. I'm going to put my face powder on, which is going to bring the whole entire look together. Part of me feels like taking a face powder that is a little bit lighter than usual. Let me do that. That's also a trick when you're using a dark. Let me look at it though. When I'm not using a foundation, it's too, too dark. Right now I'm using Deep Cool 3 from CoverGirl Full Cover, it was too long, okay? Now, this is pretty dark. And since my face is dark, I'm not going to use this because I want to lighten my face a little more. So I'm gonna just go get something different, hang on. You know what? Listen, we're doing a little bit of chemistry here, okay? We're doing a little bit of chemistry here. I'm going to use the one size, turn up the base, versatile foundation powder in the color Dark 4G. This is golden. This is gonna give me some warmth to my face because again, it is dark, okay? Okay, so with my powder brush from Complex Culture, I'm gonna take some of this and apply to my face. It's not gonna be drastic, but it's definitely going to be noticeable enough that my face is more even and a little bit lighter. This is what you do when you wanna make stuff work. But I know that it can be confusing when you're still trying to figure out, first of all, how do I even do my face? I get that. Now I feel like this has come together. Comment and let me know what you think. I think the look has come together. I can't tell that my foundation was wicked dark. Like this looks like normal to me. What do you think? We just brought this whole thing together, okay? We just saved the look. Now, I'm gonna move on with my usual stuff and you can watch me. One thing too, <laughs> when it comes to your brow pencil, when you're wearing a darker foundation, your brow pencil is going to look different. Your brow pencil is going to look lighter than usual because as I'm putting this on, I'm like, wait a minute. This is a natural black color. When I put this on normally, I can see it. Like it is dark toward the end, the way that I like it. Now this is decent, but this is not as dark as my brows normally look. Against a darker foundation, it is making my brows look a lot lighter. So I'm gonna use a black eyeliner on the end to get it how I want it to be. All things to know when you're putting on a foundation that is a lot darker. Like let's say you buy some you're trying to make it work because like who wants to waste money this is you have to know these things
All right, all right, all right. Ow, the look has come together, baby. And I, I stand corrected again. First of all, the bronze in the inner eye is from the Natasha Denona bronze palette that I have rediscovered love for. True Copper is the color. I chose it to go with the red, not a yellow gold, but more of an orange gold. I love it. It is beautiful. This lip Pioneer from Maybelline is just fantastic. I want you to comment and let me know what you think about this look. Hang on one thing, I just noticed my nose I didn't contour to clean this up, but the the highlighter is looking a little sloppy. So taking just nothing extra on the brush, but just what's remaining, I just clean that up. I want you to let me know what you think about the foundation. I stand corrected. It looks beautiful. I love how hydrated my skin looks. I like the color. It all came together with the way that I mixed it with the different products. I hope that this was helpful for you in case you go and pick up a foundation that is too dark for you and you don't feel like going to return it or you just don't have the time. This is how you can make it work if you have other things at your house to play around with. But this look looks so good. I feel like a hot tamale, okay? Like sizzling fire hot. I want you to comment and let me know if you've tried this foundation out. Am I late? I'm sure I am. What color are you? Are you loving the foundation? What do you think about it? As always, thank you for watching my videos. Give it a thumbs up, share with your girlfriends, watch some others. I have lots of videos. I post three times a week, a vlog and two other videos. Obviously this is one of them. Follow me on Instagram. And as always, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for watching, bye.